Hello and welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. You join us for an unboxing of the Soviet Infantry Winter Army. Winter version. Winter version. With the Soviet Army Command yep. as well. Cool. Comrade. And you've got your green dice. So. Comrade. So it's comrade. <laughs> comrade. So if, if you saw our first video on this, you saw me unboxing some uh, from German soldiers. Mm -hmm. And this is Claire's Soviet Infantry box. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a look inside this, and I think we can make about three squads from this. I think so. A couple so. of sport weapons. Yeah. I might be wrong, because I haven't unboxed it. We're really new to uh, bot action. We've not even played a game yet. No. Hopefully we're going to do that once we get the models painted up hmm. and stuff. Um, but we'll unbox this for now, and we'll have a look what's inside. Mm -hmm. That's the back of the box. Shows a couple of the sprues. I'm hoping there's a couple of these sprues with the machine guns in. Mm. Um, Oh, you're probably sure. <laughs> You'd be staring at me. Hi! Yeah. Yeah. Probably would have been best letting you open it, actually. No, that was good. No, it's fine. <laughs> Thanks. Here you go. <clears throat> it's a nice big box, isn't it? It is, actually. So... so yeah, I'll... Lots and lots and lots of plastic bits. Another screw there. Oh, little screws. Little screws. Is that it? That's it. So we have sprue. It's got two bases on. So these bases are different from the earlier ones. I think these are not quite like the... Oh yeah, they've no uh, the thingy up the, the bottom. Just they're just flat. That's fine. Not that much. Um, yeah. <clears throat> oh. I thought they might be like the Project Z bases. Ah, right. The Project yeah. Z bases are much more like 40k type bases mm -hmm. with the height. These are the same sort of height. So you've got a very small width. We've got one of the old bases. There we go. So you see the, the ones with the Germans are the lip. Yeah. They're the same size and the same sort of height. So they're going to look bang. Yeah. Once they've got flock uh, and stuff on there. It's one of the Soviet sprues. So we've got a kneeling guy. We've got three there with great coats, a kneeling great coat, one guy lying down. And then we've got another one of those sprues. Exactly the same. Cool. This one and that one and that one. They're all the same sprue. Then we have some weapon sprues. So we have the anti tank gun there, a bunch of rifles with bayonets. Um, something that was very much like an AK 47, so it must be the precursor to that. Um, so there's one, two, three, uh, four, five. What's that one? It's like a. What's it called? Is that the machine gun? Which one's that? I think that's the light machine gun there. Ah. One with the circular it's magazine. All circular. On. So we've got that on there. And we have three of those. Sweet. Now we have a bunch of more bases and we've got some of the lying down lying star down bases. Down. Yeah. Right. Right, cool. Okay. So we'll just go and confirm what we're going to do. We're back in a second. We've got the instructions here as to what is what and what I can make and what is what on there so oh that's handy C C is the DR DP sorry DP29 light machine gun I was right that's the machine gun and O O is the PPSH41 submachine gun with a sickle magazine I think it's a sickle magazine that makes it like an AK I think right there okay. we go so we can go away now we're going to have a Confirm what we're going to make. I mm -hmm. think it's going to be three squads and two support units. But we'll just yeah, I think so. Make sure that's correct. Mm -hmm. And we'll be back in a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've unboxed them. I've actually put some of them together already. Because um, we wanted to see how they went together. And basically, in the box, we weren't there. we've got three squads. We've got uh, two veteran squads. This is one of the veteran squads. Mm -hmm. uh, there'll be an LMG in the squad. There he is. It's a very cool model, though, for the LMG. We've got the NCO, this dude here, with the cap. Yep. Uh, 
What's it got a logo for the LMG? So they're going to be a veteran squad. There's going to be another veteran squad built exactly the same way. Yeah. And then we're going to have the free Russian squad because they get a free squad. Oh, do they? Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're all going to have uh, SMGs. Yeah. Because they're free as well. Because you can give them upgrades. They're available. So they'll have uh, SMGs. They'll have tank grenades. They're going to be green as well. Um, not the colour, but the skill. Um, they might have some green on them. <laughs> All of grays they can get a, a one of these as well, one of the light machine guns as well. Okay, cool. So from this one box, we can get three squads with twelve guys in each squad. We we'll also get a sniper set, like mm -hmm. a sniper team, and we also get an anti-tank rifle type team. So, so we we already. Put these ones together, see what they're like. And those are some of the veterans, which we're going to play. Uh, the bodies, pretty much just standard multi part. There's a lot of stuff you got to take off, and lots of stuff you've got to take off them. A um, little bits here and there that need filing off. We have the lying down body there, going to make up the majority of the the two teams but we're gonna have one left over and he's gonna be the in the inexperienced team he's gonna be the light machine gun. Mm-hmm. So we have him on the ground. Right, so we already stuck the arms off because we cut the wrong arms off. And I decided to stick them on this guy while I was waiting. So they're going like that. So those arms are very sp specific to the, the lying down stands. Mm -hmm. And clear side just gonna have all the great coats in a two veteran squads and then the Apart from that guy who showed you all the inexperienced ones, just have the padding. Mm -hmm. Just to make them look different. No reason. No reason other than that, just really. Just to make them look a bit different. Yeah. So, I said there's one squad. That's, we'll stick the other veterans together. And we'll stick the rest together. There's not much really to show you because the multi, it's an multi part kit. Uh, the only thing we can say is if you pass me the instructions, because when you put this together. Sorry, we've got Bit of a tear on there as well. There are specific arms which are for the rifles. 14, those two uh, go together. 14, 15, 16, they go together. So you need those two to hold a rifle. And the positioning on the rifles isn't exact, it is a bit fiddly to get it in. So your best bet is to stick on the hand holding the rifle, wait until that's completely dry and then stick the rifle on so that the finger's actually in that position where they're, they're holding the rifle as best as you can before lining up the other arm with the gun. Um, there are specific arms obviously for the quilted uh, armour and the, just the great coats, the different arms, so the, they don't really work. I have used them on one which was this guy. So it looks like he's got sort of quilted body armor and normal arms almost. Um, it kind of works on him because he's got he's busy. He's got all the other things on him. He's got that. Uh, I can't remember what they call those things that go across. They got a specific name that the Russians were. Oh. Like because uh, it's like the thing they wear across, like a. Sash. Oh, like a bandolero. Yeah, yeah, it's like that, but yeah. it's. It's got a specific name and I can't remember for life what it was. I, I read it the other day. Oh, right. So, um, there's that. This, oh, yeah, this guy's got a Panzer, Panzerfaust. A captured Panzerfaust. So each squad can have one of these. So, uh, I think in the 500 point army, we can't actually afford these. Oh. But we put we gave one of them anyway because when you, when you make a 1,000 point army, you'll be able to buy that for them. Because mm -hmm. you've also bought a tank since we did the first yes, part of this because we had to go away figure out what, how we we're going to build these so it's actually been a couple of days since the very first part of this video, yeah which is why we decided to build some before we came back uh so you've also got a tank which we'll do a separate, uh, video. We'll do a separate video for the tank yeah. i think because i don't think these videos are going to be very long anyway so we'll do the uh you got a t t38 T-34-85 medium yeah. tank. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll do that in another video. Um, but for now, what we'll do, we'll go away. We'll stick together the rest of the plastic models. And then we shall return. Yeah. Okay, so we've attached the bodies to the bases. Quite straightforward. Next up is the arms. Which arm was it that's the... This one? That one, that's the LMG one. Right, so that's the prone one. 
is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's the one that we've used on this good dude here. So let's take this opportunity to show you this. Uh, so literally, it's going to be going. <coughs> see, it's really difficult to position them. But you have to position it like that so that the uh, the old butt is up against his, his arm into his shoulder. He's got his finger on the trigger and you get one of those A-frame type stands for the for the gun. So he's lying down. But for the other dude, he's gonna be like this guy, so he's gonna be stood up. So he needs the are uh, I think they're just standard rifle arms. Just aren't standard they? rifle arms. Yeah, I think they are. Okie dokie. We put this guy together, I think they were the standard rifle arms. And it's, it's, a little, it's a little bit hit and miss because some of the arms fit better with different rifles as well. So it, it does take a little bit of fiddling about, to be honest. Um, it's in the end of the world. It's, uh, it's still pretty straightforward to stick them together. But so they, they don't go together as easy as like workshop kits if, you, if you're doing that comparison, basically. Um, they do look nice when they're done though. Mm -hmm. Good than that. Uh, they do look good, um, as you can see there. So we'll go on ten. We'll take the arms off. Um, so arms, guns, heads, and then any other accoutrements you want to put on them. Because there's a few satchels and stuff on there. There are, yeah. And spades and stuff like that. Mhm. Mm so if there's any, then you want to add them to the veterans. We can also still add them onto these guys as well. Yeah. Okie dokie. So what we'll do, we'll finish the other veterans off. We'll come back when they're done, just before we start the, uh, the inexperienced bods. So, you know, so there's the second veteran unit together. There is a bit of versatility in the kit. So we've got this guy here who's got the Panzerfaust and a handgun. Just a bit of a change. Still counts as having a, a ball action rifle. So, and then we've got this guy who's kneeling down. He's cool, with a grenade in his hand. So he's going to throw it up. Thumbs in the way about that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. nice models. Mm. So now we'll put together the uh, experienced dudes, the three guys. Mm -hmm. So as your two veteran squads. Uh, we'll do them next. So these are all the guys. Without great coats, apart from the guy who's got the LMG. So, uh, we'll also do the, before we come back, because we're pretty much just showing you the same thing and repeat now, we'll just stick the uh, the weapons teams together as well. So when we come back, all the plastic guys should be stuck together. See you in a moment, okay? So, there we go. Uh, all three squads. I don't know. Are done now. Uh, we've also got the massive friggin anti-tank gun back there and the sniper guy there. Um, I do like these little SMGs, they're actually pretty cool. <laughs> Liking them. Mm -hmm. So that is all the plastic models, that's 40 models in the box. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty much your entire army. Yep. Um, and then we need the boss guy who is in the metal blister pack. So we've got him and we've got some spare dudes in there as well. I think there's a medic. Alright. Uh, so him, there's actually some female heads in there. So he, <laughs> and the Russian army wasn't that bothered about commissioning them. Okay. Cool. There you go. Well, Quality know. in the time of Stalin. <laughs> uh, so we've got three bases in there. Yep, yeah, we've got three bodies. And we've got. Alright, we'll on camera in a second. So we've got pointing person. There we go. We've got shooting in the air person. And we've got medic. You've basically got two officers. Mm -hmm. An officer and I say, I say they're both officers, mm -hmm. and then we have a strip of five heads. So we have cap, helmet, the other type of cap, you know, the thin. Oh, yeah. And then we have like a me medical he helmet, 
Not on the end. Oops. Sorry, because it's side, side on. There it is. I think it's a female head. Oh, I Because she has long hair anyway. Female. She'd make a good female commander if you want a female commander in charge of your army. <laughs> there we go. So those have five heads. Uh, There's three bodies, so Claire's going to have to pick which one she wants. Yep. So what we'll do, I'll just stick them together because attach head, attach to base, done. Uh, and then we'll be back when we're finished. Okay. So that was relatively easy, just sticking them on. So we have a commissar looking guy. Mm-hmm. We have a medic, medic woman. She's cool. Mm. And we have me shooting into the the air. Yeah. So it does look like a female's head, mm, to be fair. It does actually. And it's got long hair, so it's a female officer. There you go. And it's had a quality in time of styling. <laughs> Kind of. Right, there we go. Sweet. So that, well, he's one of those, not the medic, but one of those two officers. We'll say her. And then all the plastic guys. That's 500 point army. Sans the Panzer Fausts, mm -hmm. which are for the bigger army. And the NTOs, they've got SMGs in those two squads. That's. Uh, they're just counted as bolt action rifles in the 500 point army. Okay. Uh, that's it. So that's the 500 points. There. There we go. So what do you think of them? I like them. Look forward to painting them. Definitely, yeah. Sweet. Cool. So the next video we'll do is probably unboxing your Russian tank. Yeah. And then I need to get mine painted. I've started painting my, my German engineers. Mm -hmm. So with that, uh, I've, since I did my video, I've done a lot of reading up on stuff. Um, so what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to do an early German force. The engineers will be in there optional because it can be early or mid. And um, yeah, I'm going to go for the Blitzkrieg time. So Blitzkrieg? Op cool. All the way up to like Operation Barbarossa, just beyond that mm -hmm. to the... Up to Stalingrad, up to where it turned against the Germans, basically. Cool. Um, so that, that'll be the army, or Blitzkrieg type army. And I might do some of those later, I might do a winter army. I, might, I do fancy doing a desert army, uh, an the Africa Corps. Desert rats. Mm. I fancy doing desert rats versus Africa Corps, I fancy mm -hmm. doing both, to be honest. Um, but I'll do an early Blitzkrieg army, and if I do the British as well, which I probably will, I'll probably do the Expeditionary Force. Mm -hmm. um, and start from there, start at the beginning, basically. Uh, so there we go. So okay. stay tuned for some more ball action stuff. Yeah. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe if you did. And hopefully we'll see you soon. See you soon. I can't even speak now. Well, I was going to finish this off. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Yavol. Yavol. <laughs> okay. Uh, take care, guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye.